Tech has launched a new 3D printer called Q1 Pro. It's a fully enclosed printer with core XY structure. Setting up this printer is very easy. It mostly unpacking. You only need to assemble the filament holder. All the steps you need to do is also shown on the screen. The interface is simple and easy to use. You can turn on and off the light, change hot end and heat the bed temps. Q1 Pro has heated chamber, which you can set up to 16 degrees. You can also move all axes manually and there is a simple filament change controls. There are also calibration options and some settings which you can change. This 3D printer has built-in Wi-Fi connection, you can remote control your printer. You can start prints directly from GD Slicer and you can also control and observe printer. Q1 Pro has camera inside the enclosure and you can see live video from Fluid. It's also timeless supported. There are independent dual C motors which enables automatic tilt leveling. Auto bed leveling is done with dual sensors and Q1 Pro has auto C offset measuring, so you don't need paper levering. On the back side of the printer is nozzle cleaning system with waste filament container. If you need you can also do platform calibration manually by adjusting the distance between nozzle with knobs under bed platform. During the testing I didn't need to do the platform calibration and I did leveling process only when I set up the printer. Clipper firmware also enable input shaping. Q1 Pro has automatic belt engineers, so you don't need to worry about belt engine. Filament holder is on the side of the printer and there are precise models for holder add-on, with this add-on spool roll much smoother. Enclosure has small fan, there seems to be no filter, having a filter would be nice especially this printer is made for printing high temp filaments. Heated bed max temp is up to 120 degrees and it's covered with 250 by 250 mm dual sided textured PIA plate. I did a quick heated bed uh, measuring and it seems temp at different points are quite similar. Hot tent is new design and it can handle up to 350 degrees, so it will be good for high temp filaments. If you print PLA, TPU or PDG, it's recommended to open the door and remove the lead. Q1 Pro is a fast 3D printer and fast printing makes noise. I measured noise levels and without lead and open door it was around 57 to 58 decibels. Some peaks over 60 decibels. When I closed the door and added top lead it went down quite much. Keep in mind that when printing PLA, TPU and PTC you can't close the door and lead. Power supply rated power is 350 watts. I also measure power consumption when printing, it's around 200 watts. So one 3D Benji printed 22 minutes and took 80 watt hours. It printed fast and power consumption is quite low. And as always, I tried resume printing function. First I tried it when power goes out. It seems that it worked, but there was one issue. It started printing at same height, but not where it left off. It started to print new one. I tried once more and same happened. Then I tried resume printing when filament ran out. After I add new filament, it resumed printing as it should. You can see clearly where it happened. It works, point for that, but I would like to see less visible line. I printed different things and tried different filaments. The first one I will show is the bed test print. I can't say it's perfect, but it's okay, better than most printers. Some places the nozzle is little too far from the bed and lines are not connected. But when you print more than one layer, as usual, it will be still fine bottom. These blue color PLA prints are pre sliced models from Class Drive. They all print it great and fast, can't see any problems. Layer lines are smooth and consistent. There are no under extrusion and seems to be no ghosting also. This cast slide came out perfect.
3D Benzy printed with high speed PLA filament, printed only 22 minutes and I don't see quality loss. Filament holder add-on printed with high speed PLA and it took under 2 hours. Tolerance print came out also good. Only 0.1 was fused together and didn't move at all. Trash pin came out good. Maybe not good as prints before, but I used different filament also. Printed with silk PLA. The printing speed was too much for this filament. The lower part of the print where is more overhangs and that is used. Upper part of the print is good. I sliced the model using GD Slicer Q1 Pro profiles. The print settings need some changing to get best results with my filament. Textured widget Infinity Cube came out good and all the joints move. Topper was printed with supports, which came off easily. Also the surfaces, which were against the supports, came out nice. There are, you can see ghosting, but beside that, it's good. It printed 3 hours and 15 minutes. Top and bottom 5 layers, wall 5 lines and infill 25%. For fast printing you need high speed filament to get best quality. I tried different filaments and I used default size profiles for these filaments. It's PTG filament and there are places where it seems to be some under extrusion. Overall quality is ok. It came out better than with last printers I reviewed. I should try other PTGs also. ABS one had similar issues at the same place but less. Overall quality is very good. I had no issues with bad adhesion and I didn't need prim or raft, no warping or no cracks and I didn't need to use chamber heating. DPU printed fine, inside you can see some defects but it isn't easy to get these results, it took several tries to get it fitting right. Then I got clocks and I needed to slow down printing speed. You can print DPU when you got it fitting right and use very slow printing speed, much slower than Reality K1 or Bamboo Lab. I tried PTG a carbon fiber filament also. The corners are not good, but sides, top and bottom are good. It needs some changing and trying different settings. ASA filament overall good, inside some defects. To take this video together, I will say there are a few things I don't like. And if I compare it with other GD printers I have used, I like it most. So first thing I don't like, the filament holder is very wobbly, the add-on which you can print should be included with the printer. The side filament holder adds good accessibility but it takes more room comparing back holder. It's not a big problem, you have working to the printer so you can always design better holder for the side or back. And wobbly spool holder don't affect print results. Next thing is printing the TPU. It was the difficult to load filament, but print results isn't bad. Last thing is there is some printing when power goes out don't work as it should. You never know when power failure happens and starting over is annoying and filament wasting is bad also. Q1 Pro was just released and this, this issue can be fixed with firmware update. The print quality out of the box is very good. Printing speed are great and the print quality is good. I had no problems with paid addition even with ABS. I like the flat top which completely close. This printer isn't bad at all. Print quality and printing speed is very good, filament holder isn't a problem. You can print TPU with some more e effort and the some printing pack will be fixed with the firmware update. So there isn't almost any problems. It has also affordable price. Per pre-sale price is under 500 euros, with that price you get quite a lot. So if you are looking for new 3D printer, which is fully enclosed, prints fast and have great printing quality, Q1 Pro is one to choose from. If you want more info about this printer, I will leave the link in the description and if you have any questions, leave comments. I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.